I'm going to give Sushmita uh, the chance to reply. But before that, I'd also like to ask her a question. You all had said that is election jumla. But when it came to the parliament, unanimously you all voted in two days. A major amendment. Why did you all do that? See, first of all, reservation for the economically backward classes in the general caste was in the Congress manifesto too. We... But you're ruled for... Just let me finish. <laughs> Ten but years. the question is, yeah. when, when the bill was brought, if, if my young friends here watched the proceedings in the Lok Sabha and the Rajya Sabha, we consistently said, this is one constitutional amendment that throws up very important issues. It should have got more time in the parliament so that we could have debated it. Rajya Sabha, in fact, said it should go to the committee. But the question here is, the, the larger point here is that this government has consistently brought law to firefight. They have now lost three states in the recent elections and they know that they're in firefight mode. If they were so concerned about it, they should have brought it two years back. Because another negative point about the fact that these bills are coming at the late stage is nobody knows what, how is it exactly going to unfold. Is it going to work for us? Is it not go work for us? And this, this constitutional amendment is the biggest indication of the fact that Narendra Modi is panicking about the fact that there is zero job creation in this country and that's his reaction. Okay, okay, okay. While Shushmita has made a fine argument, the fact is, Shushmita, the UPA government ruled for 10 years, two terms. Why didn't you bring this amendment? Let, let me tell you something. We have not ruled for two years, we, uh, 10 years. We've ruled for 56 years. Okay. Okay. So why let didn't you do it before? Slide. <laughs> Secondly, Secondly, I said UPA government. Let, okay. let, let, let me also say that Congress has ru ruled the country for 56 years and 10 years of UPA. And I'm proud to say that we have brought many laws, but we've never brought laws on the basis of caste and religion and to divide the country. And let me tell you one more thing. Let me tell you one more thing. As a woman, I must say, and I hope Nishikanji is li listening, you brought a reservation for the economically backward class. 50% of the population is women. What is the reason you've not brought the women's reservation bill? To have more women in parliament and more women in assembly. Let him answer that question. Okay, I'm, I'm, unless you want to reply to this, but let's get to the jobs issue. I think that's the number one issue, right? Jobs. Okay, let's start with you, Kalikesh. You also, your party is going to have an election in May. What have you all done for jobs? I mean, what is your solution, both nationally as well as the state? Quickly, three or four on. Uh, quickly, I won't be like my, both my very good friends and my colleagues. When you asked about timing, you spoke about independence. When you asked her about the timing, she spoke about the unrest. <laughs> I will talk about jobs. I don't know how many of you know about Odisha before the BJD government came in. I'll tell you a fact which I was shocked to know about. In 1999-2000, after the super cyclone, 85% of Odisha's money, the budget, was going to pay interest and salaries. The teachers in our state we're getting salaries delayed by six months to nine months to one year. No, Kalikesh, may I interrupt I'm, I'm you? You are now doing what Sushmita <laughs> and the others are doing. You're going right back. You I'm not, I'm not. You asked BJD me a specific question. BJD has been question. in power for four terms You now. asked me a specific question. Yeah. What about are you job going creation? to do now? That's what I want, we want oh, to know. What, what I'm going to do in the yes, future? Yes, we don't want to look oh, back. Okay, okay. Right. So the four lakh crores of industries which have come in, the large budgetary implication which has happened because of that, We've got over two and a half lakh job creations in the last five years itself. Over 10 lakhs in the last 20 years. The idea is, and this is my firm belief and I've had a discussion with the Chief Minister, while most of the job creation has been in two sectors, the mineral-based sector, the marine uh, assets that we have in terms of ports, in terms of marine exports, and the IT sector, a large part of which uh, KITS itself contributes to. But the idea now is to di di diversify. From minerals, from steel making, we are invite, inviting auto part manufacturing. 
from the IT make from the IT you know the basic IT jobs we are pushing for artificial intelligence for preparing our youngsters for tomorrow and even just yesterday India uh, Odisha has been awarded the best state in the country under the Deen Dwal Dial Upadhyaya Gramin Yojana Koshal Yendra scheme for training these are some of the big steps taken many more steps to be taken.